your body has not betrayed you. It's trying to adapt to the environment that you are asking it to live in. Today, uh, I'm going to talk to you about why tuning into your body's messages is so important, especially if you are still waiting for a diagnosis or an official diagnosis of your autoimmune condition. And um, because I know that you're looking for answers and the answers actually uh, can come from within you, right? So that's what we are going to discuss today. My name is Anindita and I am a functional medicine certified health coach and a functional medicine practitioner. And I help women with undiagnosed autoimmune conditions tune into their body's wisdom and start reversing their symptoms using a body guided functional medicine approach. So let's get started. Let's focus on or let's talk about why loving your body, why tuning into your body's messages is so critical if you want to reverse your symptoms, if you want to get better and more importantly if you want to figure out what's going on and why so that you can take the steps that are necessary to start reversing your symptoms without waiting for even uh, you know like one more day, right? Uh, as I said, I, fo I work primarily with women with undiagnosed autoimmune conditions, but uh, I have also worked with uh, women with, uh, you know, who already have an official diagnosis for their condition, autoimmune disease. And I worked with, uh, you know, other people over the past several years, those who have other chronic illnesses as well. So I have a good understanding of what's going on. And many of these times we had to work without getting all the answers, right? Because there are many, uh, obviously, tests that can be done. There are, there are uh, you know, you can meet and it's, uh, you know, you are meeting a specialist and you're trying to get the answers because you want to understand what's going on and you want to be on the right treatment. But that typically does not always happen for so many different reasons. And in fact, I find that in the case of autoimmune conditions in particular, it's quite tricky to actually get a diagnosis. And what happens is that as we keep waiting for that diagnosis, we keep getting sicker and sicker because the disease progress is unabated, right? And it's really unfortunate because there's so many things that we could have done in the months, years or decades to actually not only prevent this disease progression, but also reverse it. So that's exactly the area that I focus on. <clears throat> and if you like what I have to say, then uh, I'm actually putting together a free guide which will uh, you know, help you find three ways to tune into your body's wisdom and give you an answer as to what's going on and why. Right. So if you are interested in receiving this free guide, uh, send me a DM with the word yes. Right. So let's, let's keep moving forward. So if you're waiting for your confirmed diagnosis, for an official diagnosis, this is extremely common in the case of autoimmune diseases where getting one diagnosis can take months, years or decades, right? Because this is, the, you know, this is a very complex disease, the immune system is uh, quite complex and the symptoms keep changing and a particular basket of symptoms have been given up a particular name. There are more than, uh, you know, 82, I mean, about 100 autoimmune diseases, I think. Right? We are giving names for different basket of symptoms which tells us nothing about the disease and why it is there in the first place and what we can do about it, honestly, without strong immune suppression. Right. So even as we are waiting for that, the symptoms are not really going away. All the best that we are doing is that we are simply uh, suppressing the immune system and thereby actually reducing the symptoms. And of course, um, I completely understand that it's sometimes necessary because you want to prevent further tissue damage. You want to actually have, you know, a manageable symptoms so that you can start the process of figuring out what's going on. And if you're in constant pain and severe pain and severe fatigue, you can't really do that. So, in you know, at times uh, medic medications and treatments are often necessary. At the same time, this should not stop you from getting the answers that you are looking for, from finding out. And that those answers, unfortunately, do not lie in the next test or the next specialist that you may be visiting. Like right? the answers actually can come from your own body. And as I mentioned, it's typically um, not an either or approach. Both are important. But what gets missed out are actually tuning into your own body's messages and figuring out what it's trying to tell you. 
right? Because a lot of people, uh, you know, they do the lab work and the labs come out normal, whatever that means, because normal labs really don't mean a lot, uh, especially when you are, you know, in, uh, in a normal range is a subsection of the population who may not really be healthy. So normal labs may be, you know, for certain reasons why you feel extremely sick. So that's again very common. So you have a normal lab, but you know that you know, you're not well, right? You just know. So that's also not helpful. And at the same time, because you have a normal lab, because you're not uh, fitting into that, uh, or maybe the you know particular uh, antibody levels have not shown up, or you're not fitting into that particular basket of symptoms, so you keep waiting for that diagnosis, right? You know that you might be having a disease, but you're simply not getting the diagnosis. And because you're not getting the diagnosis, you're not getting the treatment. And because you're not getting the treatment, the disease is continuing to progress. And then people on the autoimmune spectrum go on to develop multiple autoimmune conditions. We know that it's called the autoimmune spectrum. Because as your uh, immune system <coughs> becomes hypervigilant and uh, imbalanced, and it uh, basically starts treating your body's tissues as uh, foreign, there, you know, there's nothing to really stop it from treating other body tissues as foreign, right? So, which is why people who are on the autoimmune spectrum go on to develop multiple autoimmune conditions. But it does not have to be like this. You can, as I mentioned, you know, start reversing your symptoms and, you know, halting your disease progression. But it needs you to find and seek the answers within you, not just in uh, external labs and external validation, right? So, because, and the way that you do this is by tuning into your body's messages because make no mistake your body is sending you messages every single day right it's uh, the primary way that it sends you messages your immune system is sending you messages in the form of symptoms and if you actually learn how to tune in you can halt many uh, you know future disease uh, diseases uh, you know there is no 100 percent guarantee but you will be able to figure out maybe what imbalance is there and maybe a few tweaks here and there and this can itself help you uh, you know not get sicker and sicker right and it doesn't matter actually what disease you have it can be any disease or it can be any chronic illness and in fact i will share my story uh, so last few days i've been getting a kind of a, a low dull backache lower back and a bit of a little you know bit on the hip as well but mostly lower back pain and if I, you know, if I was, you know, several years ago when I did not know any better, my response would have been to go to the doctor and get a painkiller if it became bad and sort of just get on with my life, right? But now I do know that it's my body's way of telling me that it needs my support, that there is something which is there. And typically lower back pain is associated with chronic stress. So I, of course, have many stress management tools at my disposal that I've been doing, but I've become a bit irregular uh, for many different reasons, especially in the last couple of years, and I can't hold on to that, um, obviously, uh, those uh, excuses anymore. And but I was noticing that you know, um, you know, that sort of it's probably linked to that. So rather than taking a medication or a painkiller and sort of removing that, I decided to do something about it from inside. So what I have been doing is one, I took a day off yesterday. So I actually rested my back, rested myself. Uh, secondly, uh, more importantly, I restarted my Qigong practice. Qigong is a uh, you know, very um, old form of energy management, just very much similar to uh, yoga. Uh, and uh, Qigong actually is the father of all the other martial arts that come, Tai Chi and, you know, uh, Taekwondo, etc. Right, all of them come from uh, Qigong. So I restarted. I was doing it for several years, and I stopped it during the pandemic. So I restarted because I could, I realized that there probably was some energy uh, blockages that were happening on my back, which is why my back was uh, hurting. So rather than so, what I, the reason I'm sharing this in details is to just help you appreciate the fact that your body is sending you messages. So my body has been sending me messages saying that you need to actually deal with your stress levels. And it's not something that we may be even aware of, right? Our body, but we can feel it in our body because a lot of times we are in our heads. We are living over here, right? We're constantly living in our heads and we become disconnected from our neck downwards. It happens to all of us. It happens to all of us at times, right? If we are not careful. And it happens to me as well. And I know that this is probably what's been going on. 
and uh, you know i have sort of not been very regular with my journaling with my meditation so it's all sort of come to a head but rather than just taking take a pain pain killer and uh, you know go on with my life i chose to take a step back i chose to acknowledge what my body is trying to tell me which is to slow down i chose to show the support by taking a day off day and a half off by starting to do qigong again by starting to do meditation again you know so this this is just one simple way this one example that i shared with you today just to show you how simple it can be you know the small things make a lot of difference but the most important thing is that your body is managing till it can't that's when the symptoms start to show you will uh, uh, you know we think that symptoms actually come uh, immediately as soon as something is wrong that's not true right your body there's you know at the cellular level there can be some damage and there's usually not much symptoms to show at that time then you have a tissue level damage then moving on to organ level damage so this is a time that your symptom uh, can start to show so uh, if you can you know uh, the earlier that you can catch it the earlier that you can become more proactive obviously you can uh, prevent a lot of uh diseases going forward or even if you already have an existing disease you already have an existing illness and you're dealing with a set of symptoms you can actually still start reversing some of your symptoms and the better that you get at tuning into your body's messages obviously the more effective uh, all these interventions will become down the line right so again the answers all the answers do not actually lie outside of you they are within you and uh, it is only when you start uh, listening to your body that you will understand what what how you need to support it right so uh, the other thing that i want to highlight today is that your body has an innate wisdom it has an innate ability to heal it has survived uh, not your body but a species has survived millions of years of evolution most of the time there was no medicine uh, and of course uh, the primary uh, the way that we used to die was by uh, primarily by uh, animal maybe animal attacks or infectious disease but otherwise all the uh, 21st century lifestyle diseases did not really exist right the quality of life was different but i'm just saying that uh you know your body knows how to heal right it has healed and it has survived millions of years of evolution now of course we have access to modern medicine etc so then there must be a reason why we are sicker than ever as a society as a whole right why are there so many uh, why is there an exponential increase in uh, chronic diseases in allergies asthma eczema autoimmune conditions immune dysregulation right so there must be a reason so the important thing to understand is that your body has uh, innate wisdom and it is your gateway to presence what i mean by that is again we are mostly living in our heads so we uh, we don't really know what's going on and it happens as so as i mentioned that it's only when i started having this dull backache that i realized that there was a lot of stress that i was holding on to and since i was not being very regular with my stress management practices it was now showing up in the you know manifesting in different ways right so by tuning into your body you can start taking action today you don't have to wait a second longer right for anything to change in your life and uh, the way that it works is through love and compassion right for what your body is going through especially if you're already dealing with any kind of uh or to human condition and you are just waiting for a diagnosis this is really really important to understand that your body is going through something it is not betraying you uh, it is just trying to figure out what it needs to do to keep you alive right and uh, your role and your responsibility is to sh- you know show support to your body to uh, you know to um show some you know give support to your body and show some compassion and show some love this the way that you would for a friend so let me share with you right now uh, as we uh, as we end this session of three ways that you can show love and compassion towards your body right that's 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 what's going to be really effective the first thing is to treat your body as a friend so imagine a friend who's in trouble who's in suffering who's going through the same thing that you're going through so simply by Uh, making sure that you are treating your body just as you would that friend like what tone would you use what words would you use with that friend 
right? How would you treat that friend? How would you take care of that friend? So similarly, the same thing, you know, same way that you can take care of your own body. So that's one way. Second way is to think of your body in terms of today's body, right? So it sometimes becomes difficult to accept our body the way it is right now because we feel that it has betrayed us. There's so many things which are wrong. Our body, uh, you know, is out of control. So it, it is hard, right? I understand that. So one uh, effective way of getting past this is to think of our body in terms of today's body, which means that today, this is my body. It is what it is. And I accept it for today. Now, tomorrow might be different and I might think differently. But today I accept my body as it is, right? So just accepting and taking each day as it comes is really helpful. And the third is to find a way to do a short body scan. So when you start doing these body scans and you can get guided body scans, you don't have to do it by yourself. Uh, when you start doing these body scans, you will uncover certain tensions, certain areas where stress, the stress has accumulate, accumulated and you can actually figure out what's going on why you are feeling this way and maybe just relaxing into that area is really helpful right so my favorite app for doing all of this is called insight timer it's a free app check it out they have thousands of meditations and they're beautiful body scans what i mean by a body scan is simply scanning your body uh, from head to toe or toe to head you know whatever is uh, you know there are different ways of doing it there's no one right way and it just allows you to you know, uh, use your body as your gateway to presence, to ground yourself and to start moving from the fight or flight uh, response that we typically live in, which is your SOS in survival mode, to the rest and digest or the relaxation mode, which is where true healing starts to happen. So um, this is what I have to share with you today, that loving your body is, uh, you know, is how what's going to help you especially when you are trying to look for answers especially when you are still waiting for a confirmed diagnosis for your autoimmune condition and when you realize that just waiting is going to just you know not going to help you at all i mean in fact most people keep getting sicker and sicker because that waiting can go on for uh, days months and years and that's not necessary you don't have to keep waiting for a diagnosis you don't have to keep waiting for labs results to come you don't have to keep waiting for your next specialist appointment to start doing some of these things today to start supporting your body today to start listening to your body's messages today you know you don't need to wait for anything external that's what i wanted to share with you and one of the primary ways that you can do it uh, i have shared with you three ways is by learning how to love your body and show it some level of compassion and you do it by making your body uh, treating your body as a friend it you do it by uh, uh, you know thinking of your body in terms of today's body where you treat where you just accept your body as it is today tomorrow might be different yesterday may have been different but today it is what it is and lastly you can uh, you know learn how to do a body scan or you can use an app like insight timer the body scan can help you to actually ground yourself use your body as a presence and really start to learn how to pay attention to what's going on inside your body right so i'm working on a free guide uh, which is going to help you find three ways of tuning into your body's messages and figure out the answers what's going on and why if you are interested uh, and send me a dm with the word yes so that i can send it across when it's ready